Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go through everything I got at iMats. As a lot of you guys know, Kelsey and I went to iMats in Atlanta over the weekend and we had a lot of fun. I didn't do a lot of like blogging or anything like that. I'm like, I'm somebody who likes to kind of live in the moment and I like to take pictures here and there. I met so many people and some of them like started to cheer up. I was like, don't do that because I will cry. You guys warmed my heart so much. And I've got to tell you guys, like, I, I don't know. It was such a surreal feeling. I thought that I was going to be really awkward. But I think that for the most part, I was like just excited to see you guys. And so if you met me, thank you for coming up and saying hi. And to the girl that I almost hit in the face. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I was just really excited about my tooth. Like I got a little, I got a little salt something. And uh, yeah, so I was just kind of flailing my arms. So I'm, I'm sorry I almost hit you <laughs> if you were watching this. And then there's one lady, you know who you are. You were the last one I met out of the entire event. It was after five, people taking pictures. And you said something to me that I needed to hear. And I told my husband and I just want to tell you that I needed that and I love you for that and it was so great to meet you as well as the rest of you. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get into all the things that I bought at iMats and that at the end I'm going to show you like a few pictures here and there that I have as well as like my outfit and whatnot so you guys can see all the goods. But really I know you guys want to know what I bought at IMAX. This was the first time going, didn't know what to expect, didn't think I was going to get this much, but yo, I did. So let's get into it. So in the first line that we went in, there was a few different brands and Makeup Forever was there. So I saw this canister and it's a brush canister. I had to have it because A, for travel, I like to bring a lot of brushes and then this is how she sold me on it. She was like, um, so you can take it and you open it obviously you can have your brushes in there these are brushes i bought <laughs> and you can have it like this on your vanity and you can have your clean and your dirty brushes i was like give it to me just give it to me i need it because like honestly i'm running out of room with like my favorite brushes here on my vanity so i've got the canister and everything was either like 20 to I believe 40 or 50 percent off so it was great I love that and let's talk about some brushes you guys cuz this was what I was the most excited about I feel like I should have taken all of these out before I started the video but I didn't so this is gonna take me a while <laughs> anywho I knew I wanted to go to Royal and Lang Nickel I have this one brush and I have one other one but it's the BOM 40 shader and this is a natural hair brush and their prices are really great i have loved this brush and i've almost bought more online but i like to see things in person when it comes to brushes because shapes and everything like that i feel like i need to see so i'm going to unwrap all these and i'm going to show them to you because these are all from royal and lang nickel all right i've got them <laughs> So I'm going to go through each one of these with you. This one right here is just like a small tapered blending, like smaller than the MAC 221, shorter and it's pointy. This is the Royal and Lang Nickel. These are the Omnia. So the gold ones are the natural hair. This is the BOM 47 small crease. This one looked so fluffy and I was like, oh, we need this all in the crease, like to blend out. This is the BOM 44 large crease. I actually got two of the number 47, so that's just the same one, so we'll put that down. Then I got an even smaller one. This is more for the lower lash line, like a pencil brush. And this is a BOM 48 smudger. And these are all so soft, like I said, these are natural hair and then this one is kind of like the MAC 221 just slightly fluffier slightly like it's like one and a half of the MAC 221 and it's just a little bit stiffer so I was like oh I need you too and this is a BOM 46 medium crease and this one here is a BOM 42 small shader. So this is more like a packing brush. And I love this style, especially now that 
we don't have the MAC 240, 239 <laughs> in natural hair. And then this one, I can't, I was even telling Kelsey, I was like, I don't know exactly what I would use this brush for. Like it would be great for contour or even highlight, but it was just the shape of it and how soft it was. I was like, I just, I just want it. And like the discount was so amazing that I was like, I had to have it. And this is called the domed shader the bom 41 like oh my gosh it's so soft it is seriously so soft and then i only got one face brush from the line and it is the bom 36 powder i thought this would be so nice for blush it's got enough flexibility without it being too soft but also not too stiff so i was like okay we were definitely getting that and then i got one synthetic one that again it looks just like some of the other crease ones i got this is a little bit more stiff because it is synthetic but it felt really nice so i wanted to try it out and this is the omnia bom 15 pencil brush again this is like the rose gold so this is pro line but synthetic so if you wanted any of these brushes in synthetic you could definitely get it it's just maybe go for the pro line and then I told you guys I was finally going to get my Smith brushes and I didn't get all of them that I wanted because they weren't all there however there is a Black Friday sale 20% off so I am gonna pick up a few more but let me go ahead and get all the little baggies off of these and let me show you the Smith brushes I got I am so excited about this and the lady at Smith brushes was amazing like she was so sweet she was so helpful and yeah I'm really excited about these like this is one of my most exciting purchases so with these like pretty much any of them there that they had that I knew I wanted I just picked up and so to start off I've got the Smith 115 and it doesn't say on the brush what it is for but it is slightly stiffer I think this would be really great if you wanted to contour especially cream contour or even foundation uh, I just liked the shape and stuff of this. It's something different in my collection, so I wanted to grab that one. This one, I think the point on this is definitely unique. I went back and forth on this because I have like the, let's see, there's a Wayne Goss one behind me, but it's kind of like this shape right here. It's tapered and it comes up, but these are different. Like this is like almost like a paddle and it's got the tip to it and I just was suckered in. I was like, I don't know what I'm actually going to end up using this for. And this is the Smith 154, but it was soft. It was a different shape than what I had. So I was like, definitely got to grab that one. And the last face brush I got is this one right here. This is the Smith 151. I think you could use this for blush. I think, again, you could use this for contour. I think this would add even bronzer on really well, if you, especially if you're somebody who, like me, I like to use like a cooler tone bronzer and get it in there and then buff it out. Really, really nice. All these brushes feel amazing and they look so pretty in person. This was one of the ones I definitely knew I wanted to get my hands on, but there's another one that I want to. So on Black Friday, Mama's going to get that. This is the 235. I think this is Quill. I don't remember. I don't know what, the, what they are because it doesn't say on them. But it has a taper to it. And again, it's kind of flat. So instead of being domed and tapered, it is like a flat panel almost. And then it has that tip. So I think this will be so good for precise application of color. As well as this one. This is the Smith 256. These are, let's see. This white one is just a little bit longer. And then this one's a little bit more um, wide. But they both have like that triangle tip to it so i just been wanting to try them out and then the last one i don't even know if i can use this for my lower lash line but i'm going to try <laughs> because i liked how soft it was and it seemed like it would pack on just a little bit more color than like the mac 212 is so thin that it's really precise i feel like you could add color on stamp it on and then blend it as well for the lower lash line this is the smith 220 i'm so excited about these brushes i'm going to use them before i give you guys like a review or anything and i also am going to purchase those other ones and like, I just want to do demos and stuff and really use them before I tell you guys how I feel about them. But like first impression wise, oh yeah, 
So glad that I have gotten these in my hands finally. Also from Make It Forever, I picked up one of their magnetic palettes because currently all of, like I bought some of the new Make It Forever shadows. They are all like in separate things. So I was like, let me pick up a, I think this is the large size. And I believe it costs like $12 at the iMat. So I got that. And then I was pretty excited about this. I tried to get this palette and it was just for you guys. And I was getting so irritated because on launch day, like it kept, like the website was messing up for me. It was adding more in my cart than I wanted and it wouldn't let me take them out. And then of course it sold out. But I found it at IMAT. So I got the Sigma Dream Palette with Beauty Bird. So yes, we're definitely going to play in this bad boy. This is what she looks like. It's got the little Beauty Bird on the inside and then this is what the palette looks like so you guys can see it there we go but so I got that and I think it was 40% off yeah I'm pretty sure I got it for 40% off and it's a brand new palette I was like <laughs> yes give that to me and then another one that I have been waiting for it to come to Ulta and it has not come to Ulta and I was getting irritated it was there as well. The Dulce of Colors Pretty Cool Palette. I like this formula of their little match, little palettes here. And I've been just waiting because I wanted the Snow Angels one too, but I wanted to put them together. I wanted to be able to use my 20% off coupon. That's okay because I got 40% off instead. And this is what it looks like. It's an all matte cool tone palette. And I want to see if this is going to be muddy on the eyes whenever you put it on or if it's going to be like this perfect palette or if it's gonna be one of those that you can use like my super easy eye tutorial like you could use one of these I don't know but I am so happy that I got my hands on it and for a lot cheaper than if I had just gone ahead and gotten it. I have two loose highlighters from In Light by Danessa Myricks and I've got Aurora of Tranquility. Let me see if I can swatch this for you. These were so beautiful. Oh my gosh, they were so stunning. I was like, I just need one. And then I was like, give me both. <laughs> this is Aurora of Tranquility. Oh my goodness. It looks like it would be so dark. Let's see. But it's not. And it has like this purple pink reflex to it. I don't know if you're, it looks blue on camera to me right now. Um, I'll try to insert some swatches of it, but oh, it's so pretty. I was like, I don't even care if I just dust this on my face, like in just random spots, cause it's so gorgeous. And then the other color I got is more of like the golden type. And this is Radiance. Look, oh, and then, oh. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. Oh, so I can't wait to play in those. Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. I've got the shade completely sepia 602 this is what that one looks like and then i also picked up some things from stalazi so i heard this brand being mentioned in my comment section a lot now i almost bought one of the palettes but then i was like nah, i just don't feel like i need it it didn't it didn't completely draw me in but some of these lipsticks did and the first one is a lip cream what shade are you? Let's see. This is a lip cream in the shade Get Fizzy. This is what it looks like. And the swatch. Oh, it's creamy too. There's the color. And then the next one from Stilazi is another lip cream. And this is the shade Sending Nudes. I feel like I have heard somebody talking about this before. I don't know who it is, but I feel like I remember. And this is Sending Nudes. So those are the colors that I got, and I also got a lip lacquer from them. And I've already worn it, like I took it out the night of, and I put it on. This is the Stilazi Shaken, and I do believe this is just, I don't remember where my box is, but I think it's a lip lacquer. And 
It's a beautiful pink shade. And that's what that one looks like. Gorgeous! I found my box. <laughs> it's a lip vinyl from Stilazzi, that last one. And then I've got some glitters. It says EK. I don't remember. I'm going to have to look up. Oh, yeah, eye candy. Eye candy cosmetics. So these are so stinking pretty. I'm going to have to just insert a picture so that I don't get glitter everywhere. I've got the shade Jelly Bean. This is absolutely stunning. All of them are, but like Jelly Bean. Whew. Peach Fizz. Oh, my God. And then this one is like super duper like holographic and gorgeous. This is Yellen Melon. <laughs> I also picked up some earrings from iMats, uh, but there's no label of like actually who they are made by. And I don't think I even kept my receipts or anything. So I'm sorry that I can't tell you, but they're kind of basic. At least the hoops are pretty basic. I've been trying to find some hoops like this with like all the little shimmers that will actually go through my tunnels. So these are like, they're a rose gold with the um, rhinestones going all the way around so I'm pretty excited about those I'm gonna be so pretty and then okay obviously I do not wear studs I wear things that go through my hoops or something like that I can wear like a little stud but this would not work however I hope you guys can see these or maybe I'll just insert a picture I saw these and I thought they were so pretty like they would even look so good with the look that I have on and I thought about these tunnels that I don't use anymore because they're so big like they're still fit but like wearing earrings through them is not my favorite thing to do anymore so I was like I am going to cut off the backs of these and I am going to glue these to this so that I can wear them I thought that these were just so pretty that I'm like, I'm, I'm going to do a little DIY here, and yeah, I'm excited about it. Now, that's everything that I purchased from IMATS, but then, of course, I went to Sephora one more time because they had <laughs> the 20% off extra weekend, so I picked up technically three things, but I don't have one here. This is another Bobbi Brown Luxe Liquid Lip High Shine, and I swatched this in the store, and it's the number 10 Natural. It is so stinking pretty, and I love this formula, so I was like 20% off. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it because this is one of my favorite formulas to wear, like the liquid lip that's shiny and not matte. And this is what it looks like. I have Barely Nude. Why does this one come out easier than my other one? This is what the color looks like. It is so pretty and it's lighter than Barely Nude, the number two. I think this is number one. Yeah, number one, it's gorgeous. And then this I had seen online and I almost got it because I saw some swatches or I think I saw a tutorial something. I almost bought it and I was like, no, I'm not getting it. It's not that different, but it has the stars. And this is from Ciate London. I've never used any of their palettes before. And this is Glitter Storm. And I believe this is limited edition. So when I saw this in store and I swatched it, I said, oops, it's 20% off. Oops, it's in my cart. And now it's in my car. I don't know what happened. Like, <laughs> that's weird. Let me show you. Oh, it's so pretty. And it was this center shade, really, that got me. It is a, one of those purple, like duochrome kind of shades I'm not gonna be able to get it on camera there's this shine to it that is so pretty like I die I die I had to have it after I saw that and then the packaging and I felt the mattes and I was feeling the other colors I was like this seems like it's a good quality palette and it's so stinking cute remember when I bought that tart blush because of the same thing so they uh, are gonna go well together <laughs> anyway that is everything that I purchased and then I did get my tooth I have to tell you oh my gosh I'll show you guys a little picture they were doing 
what was it, Tooth Candy? I'm gonna make sure I insert their information down below because I have Instagram and everything. This little gem on my tooth that makes me so happy. Like it makes me so stinking happy. When I saw they were doing this, I was like, yes! It lasts anywhere from six to like two years. The one girl that I have a picture with where she's like a naked and glitter everywhere. She said hers has been on for three years and I have wanted one for so long, but fun fact for you guys, I don't have perfectly straight teeth. A lot of people I get in the comments like, you don't smile all the way. It freaks me out or I don't like it. It makes you seem ingenuine or you look down. It's literally because of this tooth and like a little, I just don't like the side of my mouth. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make that tooth that I don't like my favorite tooth. So I got this. It is so cute. I love it so stinking much. And yeah, like my husband was, I was FaceTiming him while we were gone. He was like, what is that? Because I was like smiling real big. And then my daughters, whenever I got home, she was like, she's like, I think you have glitter on your teeth or in your tooth. I was like, nope. This stays. She was like, what? And I started doing this like up to the light and she was like, oh. Like, such a bad, bad influence sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, that was like, I had to have that. I absolutely had to have that. I think it's Tooth Candy or something, and they were amazing as well. That booth was popping. It was my favorite booth out of everywhere I had gone. And those ladies were working hard. They were hustling, and they had great attitudes. They were so friendly. Oh my gosh, go follow them. If you want something like this and you're in the area of wherever they are, just, they are amazing. Amazing. I love them so, so much. But I'm going to insert some little clips at the end of the video, some pictures and my outfit and everything like that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will do a get ready with me trying out new products because I know I've got a lot of stuff here and I'm not going to try and review every single little thing. So be on the lookout for a get ready with me trying new products and let me know. I think I'm going to use the Beauty Bird palette in that. But yeah, you guys just let me know. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.